In this lecture, I'm going to introduce you a concept which can be sometimes confusing for beginner C Sharp developers. And this concept is called Delegate Inference. Delegate Inference is just simply a great feature that the C Sharp compiler provides us and will save us a little bit of code here. So in our multicast delegate example, what we had earlier, we created a delegate called logger delegate here. And as you remember, we can assign methods to this delegate, which return void and takes a string parameter. But before we were assigning multiple delegates to the invocation list, we first created a new instance of this logger delegate type called logger del. We wrote new logger delegate and we were pointing to the right simple string method. And then we were saying logger del plus equals and again we needed to instantiate a new logger delegate which we're pointing to another method here. Well, in this case it's not that complex when we are looking at this example. But if we jump back to our my calculator initialization here, we call this process numbers method. And in the third parameter, we need to create a new instance of this delegate type and then pointing to the sum method. And at this point, the syntax became a little bit more awkward because we may ask the question that why we need to create a new instance of this delegate type since we know exactly that this process numbers function will take a numbers process delegate here. But since we want to express ourselves while coding the easiest and simplest as possible, the C-sharp compiler provides us this great feature called delegate inference. So if you look at this example once again, I make a new instance of this logger delegate type and delegate type inference makes it possible that I don't need to write this here anymore since the type will be inferred. And this means that the C-sharp compiler will figure it out what this type is and will create a new instance of it behind the scenes for us. So if I just go ahead and delete this right here, our code will be much simpler because now we are not saying this logger del equals a new logger delegate and then point to the right simple string. But we can go ahead and quickly declare that we are pointing to this right simple string method here. So delegate inference means that the C-sharp compiler will figure out the type, what it needs to create a new instance of, and then we'll also check that the method written here is compatible to this declaration what we have here. And since this write simple string is a method that takes a string and returns void, it's absolutely perfect for the C sharp compiler. Because through this logger delegate, delegate here, we can point to these types of methods. So now we can go ahead and quickly modify this code here as well. I will delete this logger delegate here, and we can see that our code compiles perfectly. So now if I run this, you can see that we get the same result as we've gotten earlier. So we are right now just focusing to this output strings here on the console and we get the three outputs as we've gotten before. Because first we are pointing to the right simple string and then we are adding these two delegates which point to another methods and so the three methods will be invoked. So now that we simplified our invocation here, we can also do this with our previous uh, process numbers method calls as well. So now we no longer need to create a new instance here. So we can just get rid of this here very quick and we can pass in some which make our code here much more concise and easier to read compared to this awkward delegate syntax we have, to have here. Now we get rid of this as well. And I run the program once again, just to make sure that we get all the functionality we had earlier. And as you can see, 10 and 25 are printing out to the console. And we also have these three output texts here. So here you go, delegate inference. 
the concept which can make our code more easier to read and more easier to use when it comes to using delegates.